Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so, so excited. We have Christina here. Hey guys. And today we are gonna be tackling the wedding invitation dress code. I don't know about you, but I received invitations yeah. where it's like semi-casual, casual, formal. What else do we have? Like, can I just RSVP, yes? On my channel, we are gonna be talking about the more casual dress code, because there are different forms of casual, if you did not know. And then over on Christina's channel, we'll be tackling the formal dress code. So like, we got you guys covered, no matter what the occasion or the dress code is. Yes. Okay, so the first dress code that we are gonna be tackling today is semi-formal, or maybe your invitation says dressy casual. These pretty much fall in the same category. Semi-formal or dressy casual can be evening or daytime. So take a look at the time and place to really get a good feel of what is appropriate here. A cocktail dress, dressy skirt and top, or a dressy jumpsuit would be great options for this category. This does not mean club dresses where your ass is out. Be mindful that weddings are usually family affairs, so save that little number for another lit weekend. I say white is always a no, where black is a yes for evening weddings. For daytime, black does feel a bit too harsh, but if you can pull it off, more power to you. I have a red dress in this lookbook, but just be mindful of the wedding party's culture because I know red is a no in Asian culture. All right, those are some guidelines. Now let's dive in. So for an evening semi-casual wedding, we would typically go for something in a deeper color, right? But since it is spring and summer, we thought that bold, bright colors would be fun for nighttime as well. Yeah, like a blue or like even a black if it's like nighttime. And it can definitely be a shorter hemline since it is casual. So I went ahead and went with this red dress. It does fall all over the place. Like it has like a asymmetrical hemline. And as you can see, the fabric is nice and light. It has like this really chic high color. Collar. I feel like again, it's not super super formal, but it's just like that nice in-between cocktail dress I paired it with these black heels I love to match my clutch to my heels sometimes if like I feel like the black just kind of came out of nowhere <laughs> Like it did here. So I just like to tie that in as well And this one I feel like you can actually take a little bit more formal just depending on your accessories So like your earrings you can choose something a little bit more polished or like put your hair back in a sleek bun You can really take this dress I feel like from um, a more semi-casual like I'm doing here or into a more formal because the hemline is kind of ambiguous I guess you can say mm -hmm. so that is it for my outfit let's go ahead and see Christina's I ended up wearing this really bright green dress it's from Kim and Proper I love it because this color you guys like if it's summer and you have a tan like you are gonna look amazing in this color I get sometimes a little bit insecure with my arms just because like for my size I feel like that is always something I'm thinking about. So I love that this dress kind of like hides them but also like flatters them at the same time and accentuates them because it has the bell sleeve and it's just like fun and playful. And I love how it has like the ruffle and cinches at the waist. Like that's so important, it brings in your waist. I paired it with these like reptile strappy shoes which just makes it more fun and some like really playful earrings. And I feel like that's how you jazz up a dress. All right, so now let's move into the daytime. So I chose a jumpsuit. So I feel like you can totally, if you're not a dress girl, like I'm definitely not a dress girl. And I love this little jumpsuit from ASO. So I really love the way this fits just cropped and I feel like this is so perfect for spring and summer weddings especially if it is more of a casual dressy dress code again you can dress it up even more with the type of accessories but again I'm trying to keep it a little bit more chill with these fun little earrings that I got from Lulu's also shout out to Lulu's for sending me some of these pieces that you are gonna see and everything will be in the description box below if you're curious also I thought these shoes were a really good compliment especially for a more like casual because they are a little bit more funky and I just really love the way it paired with this jump Suit. I love your jumpsuit. Isn't it so cute? It's so good. I wonder if they have it in ASOS curve. I chose this like pale pink dress. I want to make sure you guys can see that it's pale pink and not white because like you should never wear white to a wedding. That would be right. a disaster. Yeah, that's so, like, that's the one color I feel like you should stay clear of. 100%. White is definitely a, a no, no no. Yeah, totally. So this dress, I think it's just like really feminine and pretty. I love the waistline. I feel like it's very flattering. I love like the flirty sleeves too, and I think it's such a good length. I paired it with these like really fun crystal, colorful earrings and just like a nude pump. And I honestly, I feel like you can't go wrong. It's like flirty and fun. Like 
you can twirl on it and I, I love it. It's just I feel easy. like all these dresses too we can wear again, which is nice. Totally. Yeah, just depending on how you accessorize it. I could wear it to like a brunch, like or oh, yeah. church, or like totally. to a meeting, or like on a date, you know what I mean? Totally. Just literally the shoes, accessories, how you style your hair and makeup, it all makes a difference. Such a difference, yeah. totally. So our next dress code, this is if it says casual. Casual usually indicates that the wedding will take place in the daytime, perhaps outdoors. So definitely grab lighter fabrics and lighter colors. Patterns are great here as well. It can definitely be a shorter length or it can be like a maxi summer dress It could possibly be a beach wedding So that is kind of how we're going about this one as if it was like a beach outdoor wedding But you know if it's like a backyard wedding that can fall under this category as well So I chose this maxi dress. I know a lot of petite girls get a little bit scared of a maxi dress But honestly when you pair it with a really high heel you look so so long so don't be scared of maxi girls like i absolutely love them and i think it's such a pretty play for like a beach wedding especially this one that looks like more of a sundress i feel like the color is really pretty for these like summer spring weddings it is a print so it's definitely a lot more casual especially the polka dots and i paired it with the straw bag to even make it a little bit more casual you definitely don't want to do like jeans and a t-shirt like that's not what casual means i feel like you should always still look a bit polished i'm just keeping my hair and makeup here pretty loose and casual as well so it doesn't look overly dressy so that's my look <laughs> first of all i couldn't agree more because even if it says casual you're still going to a, a wedding. wedding and like show up like put yeah the effort in. have fun with it like i don't think it should be a chore i think it should be something like you're looking forward totally. to doing i feel like that is the most disrespectful thing totally like that's worse than like getting drunk at a wedding totally <laughs> right like underdressed yeah or, oh my gosh it's like yes. why are you here like do you not want to be here it's better to err on the overdress side than totally dress so always yeah. So let's see your outfit. Okay, so for my beachy casual look, I chose this lace crochet blue dress. I just picture it like I can get my feet wet in the sand, like cascading down the beach. I just love it. It has movement. I love the sleeves. I think they're like really flirty and fun. When I'm choosing a dress, like I just want to be a little spin in it. And like this dress has like major spin movement going on. Very um, boomerang. Totally. <laughs> I think the length is really flattering and I love like the little ties and the sleeves. It's just like fun and honestly guys like I really feel like I could repurpose this and wear it with like a pair of Converse sneakers. Totally. Or, like, or a sandals. Daytime. Like yeah. that's what's amazing about these like semi-casual, casual. All of these dresses in this whole video really you can wear with sneakers and you look cool. Totally. <laughs> so let's talk about our next category. This one's a bit newer. It's a festive. So festive is is a new dress code I've been recently hearing. Around the holidays, this usually means more sparkle to give in to that Christmas feel, but for the summer and spring, it can mean a certain theme around the wedding that they probably have already made you aware of. So it's just the go ahead to have fun with your wardrobe. Cocktail dresses, skirt and top, jumpsuit, anything goes. You can look for resort casual lightweight fabrics, fun colors, fun prints, playful accessories. A good rule of thumb is to just check with the wedding party if you're still completely clueless. And I haven't mentioned this, so far but this goes for every dress code don't show up with the same color as the wedding party you don't want to look like a bridesmaid when you're not girl maybe you got like a garden party or a destination wedding you're going to Mexico or Hawaii or you know something like that so I chose this little jumpsuit again you can play with like pops of color and silhouettes so I thought a jumpsuit again this is like my style of course I really love jumpsuits because I'm not like a super huge fan of dresses but I felt like this was the perfect time to incorporate you know a fun silhouette a fun pattern a fun color like literally marks all of the above and check, check. yes <laughs> and I paired it again with that same straw bag I thought it was super cute like I can totally picture myself wearing this to like a destination wedding where you know it calls for something a bit more festive like they're calling it and I'm wearing this like black floral vibrant dress I love this pattern and I feel like again for curvy girls you hear like so many things like you shouldn't wear patterns screw that like yeah. throw out all the rules that's ridiculous this dress I think is so flattering because it has the ruffle which just like accentuates your waistline and elongates you which I love I'm not gonna lie it is a little bit big I need to get it tailored in the chest I feel like the strap are a little too big on me but I love it I think it's so much fun like any summer wedding you're going to like I feel like this is appropriate yeah. like all the tropical vibes all the tropical I mean I can see this dress in like Hawaii I know a lot totally. of people have weddings there I mean you can really have the most fun in this category so go for it and with this dress I just paired it with these 
Target Who What Wear collection sandals. They're like so flirty and They're fun. They're so cute. Like I want those. I know. I love them. Um, and I just feel like it just brings out the pop of color. So when you have so many colors in this dress, like try and play it up even more by choosing accessories to like bring out the colors. That's such a good tip. Yeah, I totally agree. All right, so those are all of our outfits for casual, semi-casual type of weddings. Be sure to check out Christina's channel to see if you're going to a more formal wedding because we got you covered there too. This was so much fun. I'm so happy we were able to share like different sizes. Like we couldn't be more different. And I feel like our style is different too. Like totally. we both like want to be elevated and look great and look cool, but like there's so many different ways you can do it. Yeah. Fashion should be fun, so definitely play up to whatever you're feeling and have fun at your wedding, guys. I hope this was super helpful and you enjoyed. If you want to see more of this, then definitely give this video a like, subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. All right, bye guys. Bye.